there, welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to take a look at a coin driver from PB Swiss Tools. This is the little device here, uh, it's part number PB8125. Uh, this is actually the first PB Swiss tool that I've purchased. Um, I purchased it with a couple of other bits and pieces as well. Uh, but this is the one I'm going to go through today. I've always wanted uh, a little coin driver. Uh, they are for the large slotted headed screws that you find on some test equipment typically holding battery covers in place. A typical one would be from Fluke here. They do use this system quite a lot. You can see on there this is one of their current clamps and you can see here uh, goes in there and turns in quite nicely. Uh, close it back up again. And if you don't have one of these, what you would normally use is uh, what I call a little penny slot screw. Uh, a one pence piece from the UK goes in and does actually do exactly the same job. Uh, and if you feel like splashing out, you can even use a five pence piece as well. And that does it as well. So this is definitely a luxury, um, but I thought I'd splash out and uh, take a look at it. So we know it operates current clamp there. Um, we've got a fluke proving unit here as well. A much narrower screw head in there. But we'll, it turns out all okay, no problems. Okay, so that's all okay there. Uh, we have here Chevron New as well. Chevron New is another company that sometimes uses this kind of fixture. Um, it's annoying. So yeah, quite happily turns the old Chevron New. There. And finally the Fluke, Fluke 1587FC, I'll have to take its cover off to access the uh, battery compartment here. And you can see, unfortunately, uh, it does not want to operate it. If I get it in at an angle, then I can. It turns it through 180 and then... Uh, Take it off, uh, but uh, yeah, a, uh, on that occasion, a uh, coin is a much better option. Certainly, the five pence piece works all okay, or one pence piece works all okay as well. Um, Ten pence piece will just about do it. Uh, and if you look at this, hold this up against coin driver this is the grind on this is certainly closer to the shape of a 10 pence piece and as you see there instead of something like the, uh, the penny and as you see it's got the extra corner a larger diameter there compared to that penny there um, so it works for some stuff but unfortunately not for others just reposition this a little bit. I'll zoom him in. So the other place you find these sometimes on these fuse holders, um, particularly the larger ones as well. And although it does operate that one perfectly okay. Uh, the large one here should be, yeah, it does that one okay as well. Uh, and then uh, this design here, more flush design. Of course, turn that one. Yeah, I'll do him as well. So it does those as well. I'll zoom back down. Uh, the other thing that I have found it's quite useful for is. Uh, cameras and screws that sometimes hold camera plates in so if fucking around for a big screwdriver if you can't uh, get something close by then this will do this and of course you can also do it with a coin as well easily enough so yeah there you go that's the uh, coin driver from PB Swiss Tools. Let's say it is my first PB Swiss Tools 
tool. And it is very, very nice quality. Um, it's kind of a, a rubberized coating, still a solid handle, but it's got a rubberized surface to it, and uh, feel to it, hard plastic cap at the end there. Uh, and then uh, pretty, pretty good grind on the uh, surface of the actual driver bit as well. It does even actually have a serial number. Wow. Sure, uh, not sure a, a coin driver like this screwdriver needs a serial number, but there you go. It's not VDE or anything, it's just a, a, one of their standard handles on there. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's very, very nice. I would regard this much more as a luxury rather than a need to have because, as I said, you can quite easily do it with uh, six pence if you like. Uh, and this is not six pence, uh, you'll pick this up anywhere from like 14, 15 pounds, all the way up to 25 pounds. So I just got this off an eBay store. Uh, nothing special. Just googling around for it and found it. Okay, so there you go then. That's the PB Swiss Tools PB8125 coin driver. That's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful. And I'll see you again on the next one.